Hey guys, it's JJ. Welcome back to the Eagles franchise. It's championship game week and we are gonna have a divisional foe coming to town. It's gonna be the Dallas Cowboys who had a great season as well. They kind of lost it there at the end. Just finished 12 and 5, but uh, they were head to head until the penultimate game against us and then they lost a couple games. And yeah, still quarterbacked by Dak Prescott. I don't think I have to explain this offense. It still runs through Zeke. He's still a great running back, which is uh, kind of frustrating, but he still is breaking a lot of tackles left and right. He uh, still is a great athlete. Even in his 30s, they still have Amari Cooper and his great route running abilities so we're gonna have our hands full with work containing him and cd lamb as well also a great route runner especially down the field cd lamb kind of unstoppable but that's gonna be chris madden's area to cover today and then of course casey madden chris madden's brother who is uh an amazing athlete a great slot receiver we're gonna have, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that. Orleans Pearson is the weakest link of this offensive line and he looks pretty great too. So that is gonna tell you everything about the offense. They have a, yeah, they have just a great offense and it's hard to stop them. Chris Wise is a linebacker um, that's looking pretty promising. Leighton Vanderesh is another one, still a great athlete now a little bit older but uh yeah he's still a great run stopper and in coverage as well and then micah parsons of course they have three great linebackers but they don't have any great defensive linemen this uh, defensive tackle tandem and the edge rushers are pretty weak so that's their biggest weakness going into this game and then the secondary looks pretty promising as well trayvon diggs is the star here but uh, they also have a great safety tandem in one Thornhill with uh, great athleticism, good coverage skills. And then on the other side, Zay Bowen, the second year strong safety, six feet, 224, with uh, great explosive acceleration and zone coverage instincts. But uh, this game is going to be fun. I hope so, at least. The. Uh, one weakness of the Cowboys is the defensive line, of course, but um, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna try to attack them at their weak spot and maybe we can just run the ball down their throats. Maybe we avoid Micah Parsons all day long. That would be smart because he is not just a linebacker, he's also a great edge rusher. And uh, for us, the big challenge is containing all these threats here. A uh, trio of great receivers and a running back that is unstoppable at times. And then they still have Dalton Schultz, so a average tight end as well. It's not like they're bad in that department. And the first catch is going to go to Mitch Slaughter. And wow! Down the field, that's Devontae Smith. And this is a 62-yard touchdown starting this game off fast. Devontae Smith just beat him clean off the line. What a release. Shoving him out of the way. And Landry, no problem finding his favorite target. And he jumps into the end zone. Great start for the Eagles. And now the Cowboys are going to have to answer back. Here are the season stats for Dak Prescott. 38 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, 4,000 yards passing. And mind you, they still have Zeke, so a lot of yardage and attempts are going to him as well. Off his back foot, it's knocked away by Dante Jackson. Great coverage down the field. Amari Cooper unable to hang on. Second and 10. Ezekiel Elliott shoving away Mike Middleton. That's seven yards and making this third down a little easier. 11 personnel, they're going to throw it. Dak Prescott over the middle, it's cut. Amari Cooper not contained by Dante Jackson first down now three tight ends on the field and Zeke runs to the outside and he picks up around seven 
And now they have 11 personnel again. Dak Prescott has some time. Pocket is clean. Flushed out to his right. And this is caught by Amari Cooper. And that's a first down. Now second and nine inside Eagles territory. And Dak is going down. It's Alonzo McFadden in the backfield. The rookie defensive tackle. Great play here. And that is going to end their drive, unfortunately. So that leads to a punt back to the Eagles offense. Matt Upshaw, nowhere to go. Third and five. Christian Landry is sacked by Micah Parsons. And he's in the backfield again. Sky looks unstoppable. Fourth down. Got to punt it away again. On the three and out here. He just, uh, just ran right by the guard. And uh, took down the QB. 11 personnel for Dak. And that's going to be a draw to Ezekiel Elliott. Running to the left side. Should have just kept straight up the middle. But at least it's 5 yards. Now they spread out the defense. And Dak has uh, CD Lamb on a 10-yard connection. And that's going to be a first down. Second and 7 coming up. 11 personnel. Zeke on the swing route to the right side. Nobody open. Dak is... Taken down again. It's Alonzo McFadden with another sack. So that's going to end their drive. And the Cowboys have to punt it away again. Matt Upshaw receives this one. And just uh, nowhere to go here. This is going to be an injury for Deacon Chancellor. He's going to leave the game into the locker room. It does not look good. He's not going to come back for today. So Tyler Stokes and Coco Washington are going to get some more playing time as Matt Upshaw has a first down run, 11 yards, keeping the chains moving, staying ahead of the sticks. And yeah, torn labrum for Deacon Chancellor. He is done for the season. First and 10, handoff to Kenneth Gainwell, but nowhere to go when the flag is down. What's this about? And this is going to be a holding. So this is going to knock him back 10 yards. So first and 19 from now on. Bunch to the right. They hand it off to Matt Upshaw. Huge opening up the middle. And Bowen saves the touchdown with the tackle. But that's still 10 yards. Makes this third and nine a lot easier. Landry runs out to the side. Micah Parsons in pursuit. But he's got the first down. 13 yards for Landry. First and 10 motion for Slaughter. And Landry puts it up. It's Devontae Smith. And this is down at the 155 yards. Wow. They cannot contain Devontae Smith right up the seam. Great pass by Christian Landry. Recognizes that this is going to be cover three. And Devontae Smith outruns everybody. And they just about take him down at the one. First and goal from the one. Handoff. Gainwell. Touchdown. Keaton didn't, didn't even have to block anybody. And now the Eagles lead 14 to nothing to start the second quarter. Now you're going to have to get points here. And uh, Ezekiel Elliott is not going anywhere. It's Jalen Gilmore on the stop. In dime defense. Gilmore makes ATFL here. Third and 11, Dak Prescott, open, uh, empty backfield, throws it down the sideline, and it is intercepted, it's Avante Maddox, and he's going to return it to 10-5, and he just about juked out one guy with the back juke there, but then stepped out of bounds, but Eagles football at the three, what are you doing, Dak? Pressure closing in by Fletcher Cox. Tries to throw it to Amari Cooper. Uh, actually, that's uh, Gregory. But uh, great coverage by Anderson and Maddox. First and goal from the three. And uh, this is going to be a bubble screen touchdown, Mitch Slaughter. That was way too easy. It's 21-0. And the Cowboys are down by three score to begin the second quarter. You're going to have to need to step it up this time. Ezekiel Elliott. Second and eight, and he's getting 12 yards first down. Is this already the time where you have to go away from the running game? Empty backfield here for Prescott. Pressure coming in on the zone blitz, and Casey Madden can't get the first down, but still solid pickup of about five. 
Dak Prescott on third and six. Got a clean pocket. Got his receiver open. It's Amari Cooper. And that's a first down. Second and nine. 11 personnel. Dak Prescott keep throwing it. It's Zeke up the middle. Breaks a tackle by Dante Jackson. Is that a first? No, it's third and inches. They hand it off. And this is not going to be enough. It's Sharpton. And he is short. It's Levante David in the backfield. And they're going to try a 56-yarder. And it's no good. It's wide left. What are you doing? 21-0. And they're just going to... Run it down their throats now, I guess. That's nine yards to Kenneth Gainwell. Third and one coming up. Motion for Doug Washington. He gets the football. And there's a lot of green grass. And he is laid out after a 10-yard play. But there is an injury to the linebacking core in, in Dallas. Jabril Cox is going to come out of the game. But it doesn't matter because they still have three great linebackers. First and 10, Christian Landry. Gets it away, and this is open. It's Devontae Smith, and he's got 19 more. He has three catches for a whopping 126. First and 10, they open up the playbook with the QB draw, and that's four yards. And there is an injury. It's Micah Parsons, and he's going to leave the game into the locker room. He's not coming back. You just lost your best player. Third and sixth, Christian Landry, double slants, doesn't see anything, flushed out to his left, throws back of the end zone, couldn't keep his feet down, it's incomplete on third down, so that's going to be a field goal, but what a throw by Landry actually. Dak Prescott wide open, CD Lamb turns up field at the sideline, that's 17 yards and a first down, and we're closing in on the two minute warning, and here it is. Can you get a touchdown here? Dallas needs a touchdown badly. And if they can get one, they get the ball back after halftime. Maybe you close it to a 14 to 24. Maybe you give yourself a chance. But second and one, Dak Prescott got a clean pocket, dumps it off to Zeke. And he has a lot of green grass to run. And that's going to be 17 yards. They move the chains. First and 10, 70 seconds on the clock. Slip screen. It's Ezekiel Elliott breaks one tackle, but only a yard to gain there. Second and nine, and the Cowboys are going to take their first timeout of the half. Second and nine, Zeke into protect. No, it's a slip screen, and he's got some running room. That's a first down. That's 12 yards. Timeout, Cowboys. One timeout left, about 55 seconds on the clock here. Dak has got... Uh, a lot of space to work around, and that is actually pulled down. It's a touchdown. Dalton Schultz, Moss's Taylor Anderson here. Great catch by the tight end, and they close the gap a little bit. But I guess they maybe left a little bit too much time on the clock. 48 seconds is a lot. Dak throws it up there, cross body, and uh, Taylor Anderson can't break it up even though he's right there. First and 10. Three timeouts left. 45 seconds on the clock for Landry. Throws it to a Devontae Smith. It's unbelievable, man. That is 34 more yards. And look at that throw. So, Devontae Smith actually was open right there. But he uh, decided to let him run upfield first. And then get a lot more yardage there. 34 yards. 33 seconds on the clock, and at the sideline, one-hander, Doug Washington. What a catch. First down, 31 seconds left. No timeouts burned on this one. And uh, once again at the sideline, it's Eli McLaughlin, and he's got seven yards out of bounds. No time lost. Christian Landry throws it up to Matt Upshaw, and now you've got to take a timeout. One left, 22 seconds on the clock. First down, Landry, pressure coming in. Got to get rid of it. Tried to outrun the defender, but um, yeah, he was closing in a little too fast. And Christian Landry is sacked. No timeouts left. Landry from the 32. Got to get it away. And this is caught by Doug Washington into Fuqua range. And they're still trying to get more points on the board. You could just take the field goal here. 
Incomplete for Matt Upshaw, the running back can't haul it in. Fourth down, and this is good. It's the 20 point game at halftime. It already feels over, actually. The Cowboys are just not able to move the football as effectively as they thought. They should rely on Zeke a lot more than that. And of course, if you enjoy the video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. And yeah, the winner who moves on to the Super Bowl is going to face the Jacksonville Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence because they beat out Kansas City. Pat Mahomes couldn't do it. And Jacksonville is awaiting in the Super Bowl. Dak has uh, zone blitz dialed up here in his face off his back foot he throws it down the field and it is caught by cd lamb are you kidding me chris madden had a million years to prepare but they are losing another staple of the offense here in uh, their tackle tyron smith they're just gonna run it now but zeke nowhere to go mike middleton and levante david they're right to the uh, right to the point of attack they stop Zeke second and 12 pressure coming in Mike Middleton another big play it's a sack on the zone blitz and this is going to be third and 19 can you really afford to have another field goal here that's not going to help you close the gap it's a 20 point game man third and 19 Dak Prescott flushed out to his right throws it to the end zone again, and this is out of bounds for Amari Cooper, but he almost had it over Dante Jackson, and they really take the field goal. Matt Upshaw deep to receive the kickoff, and he turns left and is down the sideline, and there is nobody left anymore. This is 96 speed, and he outruns the rest of the kickoff coverage team. It's a touchdown for the Eagles, and this game is really, really over now. 34 to 10 24 point game Matt Upshaw receives it there at the three and then somehow nobody takes the right pursuit angles and he just outruns the rest of the kicking team into the end zone 97 yard kickoff return touchdown great stuff Cowboys get the ball back immediately and CD Lamb has a catch nine yards Came back for it. Lost a couple there. Motion for Casey Madden. And nowhere to go. It's Mike Middleton with the stop. Third and one. Handoff. Zeke. And it's Mike Middleton again. Did he get the first down? No, he didn't. Fourth down. You've got to go for it. But they punt it away. 24-point game. And now you can just run out the clock. Matt Upshaw up the middle. That's nine. Second and one. I formation. Kenneth Gainwell running to the left. And he's got the first down. And that's eight yards and a first down. Third and six. Now a little bit uh, further away for the third down. But Mitch Slaughter, he's got it. That's six exactly. And he has got the first down. First and 10 for Landry. Hands it off to Kenneth Gainwell. Fighting ahead. That's 9 yards. If you can't stop them, how are, how are you going to win this game if you can't stop them running? Kenneth Gainwell. And there he almost went away for the touchdown. Thornhill just about caught his ankles. But it's a first down nonetheless. And now third and four. And Matt Upshaw is tackled by Chris Wise. Finally, they stop him, but it's thir uh, it's uh, fourth down in uh, in the red zone. So easy peasy field goal, and it's still a 27 point game. Dalton Schultz, seven yards out of bounds to start the fourth quarter. Third and ten now for Dak. He throws it to the side, and there is Casey Madden, and he stopped shy. And now you punt it again on fourth and five. No, you're going for it. This time, finally, they're going for it. Dak, zone blitz coming in. He gets it away. It's CD Lamb, and he's got the first down. Great pass and catch there. First and 10 from the 36. Man open. It's Casey Madden, and they stop him shy. That's seven yards. 
Now they're backing off a little bit, let them get the easy conversions. It's Zeke and he's got the first down, but that's just uh, dink and dunking your way down the field. It's not gonna get you into the end zone quickly. Eight yards there on that play. Dak Prescott dumps it off to Zeke who's upended by Jalen Gilmore. That's a highlight tackle. Second and three now, Dak. And he uh, dumps it off to the running back again. Now uh, that's actually the fullback, I'm sorry. Second and nine, Zeke in the backfield, Dak Prescott. He has some time, dumps it off to the running back. Zeke breaks a tackle. Finally something happening here, 17 yards, but that's still not fast enough. Still, you're wasting too much time here, Dallas. Dak Prescott at the sideline, CD Lamb out of bounds. Finally stop the clock because Jonathan Rivera is injured. C.D. Lamb now at over 100 yards on the day. And uh, he's not going to come back here, uh, Jonathan Rivera. He's going to leave the game. Third and two. Dak Prescott, you need to convert here. And he's got it. Slide safely with the first down three yards. But you already wasted five minutes of your time. And now you're stopped shy. What a play by Taylor Anderson. And that's going to result in a third and goal. And then later a fourth and goal. You've got to get this one, Dak. And he's got it. It's his tight end who has his second score of the day. Levante David couldn't contain him. And now the onside kick try. And that's not even close. And Middleton is just going to sit on his back. Or is... Um, yeah, he's just going to sit down and end the game effectively because no chance, man. This Eagles team came to play. They started right out the gate with a deep touchdown to Devontae Smith. Then the second drive was really like effecti effectively moving down the field, operating on a high standard, moving down and get the touchdown. And then by the third touchdown, the game was basically already over because uh, they couldn't even surpass. 17 point with that uh, points with that high scoring offense and Christian Landry had a highly effective day in the office today Kenneth Gainwell 85 yards 5.3 a carry Matt Upshaw had 41 yards and 5.1 a carry This rushing attack was going strong in the second half and they just ran out the clock in no time as Zeke they were moving the ball effectively in the first half with Seek, but in the second they didn't at all. It was just losing yardage all the time. Devontae Smith ended up with four catches for 160 and a touchdown. Dalton Schultz had a couple scores. Doug Washington, 35 yards. Didn't need to do much as the Eagles uh, passing game. They just had a few deep touchdowns. And then a the great kickoff return. Alonzo McFadden with two sacks. And Mike Middleton got in there as well. My, uh, Micah Parsons, of course, had a sack. But uh, he would have not made it to the Super Bowl because he's done for the season with that injury. And yeah, we just beat them badly. Avante Maddox with a nice pick there as well. That was uh, great awareness. And um, the Eagles are going to the Super Bowl. It's season four and it's finally happening. The Eagles are ready to do it. And for this game, we're going to have plus five hit power. So we're going to face the Jacksonville Jaguars as we are going to miss Deacon Chancellor in the Super Bowl. He is playing a crucial role as a run defender. And we're going to replace it with Ty uh, Tyler Stokes there. And of course, we get play of the week because uh, there's just uh, two teams left in each conference. And so it's the quarterback and the middle linebacker on both sides. And I think it's well earned for both, for all four players. But uh, yeah, especially Mike Middleton. So many highlight plays in that second half. Stopping this uh, Cowboys team entirely as Fletcher Cox gets an upgrade right here. And yeah, he had a great game as well. Created a few pressures. Not that it amounted to, into sacks or anything, but still a nice game. And then, yeah, we're going to look at this game real quick. Uh, similar day at the office for both quarterbacks, but uh, I guess the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars just um, had the last possession, I guess. Braden Mitchell, 87 yards. 
There is actually um, TJ Hawkinson on that Jaguars team. So they have a great tight end there and a few nice receivers as well. And so, yeah, um, Miles Jack up the middle with the sack here. And I guess they only had one edge rush sack. We're also going to face Chaz De Surratt, who was linebacking for us for, I think, a couple seasons. And um, yeah, he went to Jacksonville after a stint with the Titans. And we're going to face him in a Super Bowl. As Dak Prescott gets uh, a Pro Bowl vote. And uh, Max Gordon, the rookie quarterback for Carolina as well. And then the usual three candidates, Elliott, Kamara, and McCaffrey here in the NFC. Of course, we did not have anybody there because we're going to go to the Super Bowl. But uh, Mari Cooper makes it, uh, DJ Moore, Kelvin Ridley. And uh, on the other side, Christian Ratliff makes it for the Chiefs as a rookie receiver. He was uh, one guy I was considering uh, taken instead of Matt Upshaw. And I think both are extremely fun players with great speed and... Um, yeah, elusiveness after the catch as well. Aaron Donald and Chase Young, of course. Vita Vea, L. Levy, Matt Love for the Buccaneers makes it. And um, yeah, Micah Parsons, of course, he makes it as well. Draymond Bradbury, Jair Alexander, Ugo Amadi, Tracy Walker. There is a lot of players in here um, that uh, we have met a few times in the season. And I think this is going to be a fun matchup against the Jaguars. But um, we're going to go to the awards as Christian Landry actually wins the MVP. 51 touchdown passes, 5 interceptions only. And he also had about 700 yards on the ground added there. So And a few touchdowns as well. So well earned. As uh, also Carlos Jefferson is the coach of the year for the Eagles. 15-2 record. Great season. We're just gonna go uh, skip through these AFC awards first, as Lamar Jackson and DeForest Buckner win uh, the Player of the Year awards. Rookie of the Year, it's Eric Randolph, ahead of Tevin McBath, and then Christian Ratliff, and Amari Ferguson, Anthony Tauscher. There were a lot of receivers in that last draft class, were fun to watch. And then for defense, Javier Davis, Terrell Payne, Alex Jennings, three players. I all considered them at some point. Lionel Hargrave is one more. Jose McCoy and Will Parker. There's a lot of players who had a great rookie seasons and I considered them um, in the last draft. But uh, we ended up with Alonzo McFadden. And we're going to see how that's going to go for the NFC Awards. We're just going to skip through this. Uh, DeForest Buckner, Darius Leonard. The Colts had a great defense, it appears. And then Bryce Hall wins uh, the best DB award. And now for the NFC. This is the interesting one. And Christian Landry also wins Offensive Player of the Year ahead of Dak and Zeke. Justin Fields comes in fourth. Ryan Tannehill somehow still playing. Jalen Hurts is sixth. And uh, yeah, Max Gordon makes it in there as well as the 10th player. Aaron Donald just about beats out Fletcher Cox. I think he had uh, one sack more maybe, but Fletcher Cox still going strong. And then of course, Micah Parsons, Leighton Van Der Esch. This uh, linebacking duo for the Cowboys is great. And um, yeah, Tracy Walker in there as well. Interesting now, Max Gordon, rookie of the year on the offense, ahead of Stevie Hayes. So two quarterbacks going head to head. Matt Upshaw is in third as the best non-quarterback here. And then Justin Douglas in fifth. Travis Clinton, Martin Caldwell, a couple uh, running backs. And then defensive rookie of the year, it's Alonzo McFadden. He wins it over Jake Newell, David Manning, Steve Hartwell, all these great defensive line talents. And then Alexander Cohen for the Giants is in fifth. Nolan Wilson, the cornerback I considered to be the best in that last draft class. He is uh, only in ninth, actually, which is kind of surprising. But uh, yeah, Max Gordon in sixth for a QB, where Christian Landry wins as well. Stellar season. For the running backs, we went uh, with the uh, split backfield here. And so 
our running backs didn't have the production to win anything there. But for receivers, Devontae Smith comes in second. He lost three games there in the middle of the season to, due to injury, so that's what cost him in the end. Uh, he ended up a couple hundred yards behind, and he would have caught those in those three games. And Mitch Slaughter actually makes it as the seventh guy, so that's fun. And then for the offensive line, it's all Cowboys, man. First is actually Buccaneers, but then three Cowboys. And then Sean Keaton as the fifth guy here, the one of the better left tackles in the league now. He has developed nicely. Great player. Fletcher Cox wins best D-line over Aaron Donald. I guess it's probably because of the TFLs, which are valued in here. And then Von Miller in fifth. Jonathan Rivera in seventh. And uh, yeah, this is um, turning out great except for the linebacking position because there is uh, no awards for the Eagles here. We just don't have the numbers to stack it up. And uh, yeah, Trayvon Diggs in fourth here. We don't have one here either because our DBs are incapable of catching interceptions. That said though, Chris Madden had, um, in my opinion, great season and he is only going to get better getting plus one acceleration. He still is at star dev, sadly, but now he, his athleticism is unbelievable. And he's so good. Down the field especially. CD Lamb masked him a couple times in the last game, I will admit. But yeah. Alonzo McFadden, plus three block shedding, plus one power moves. That is a great upgrade. Getting rookie of the year. Still at star dev, sadly, in Super Bowl week, so no upgrade there. He didn't have all that many ta uh, sacks, just many sacks compared to the other rookie defensive linemen. And then Grant Delpit gets an upgrade, a really weak one. And um, yeah, but it's fun playing with him. He has great athleticism, and I like where his ratings are at. His run D could be better, but yeah. Travis Maynard has been uh, the weak spot on the offensive line, but we're still working on that, trying to improve, trying to get him better. So let's start Dev. He's 23 years old. This is his second season, first season starting. And yeah, I guess the run and pass block ratings need to get a lot better, but um, I think he has a bright future behind, uh, ahead, I mean. And then Christian Landry. We're gonna put all of these upgrades into Field General. And I hope his accuracy ratings are going to go up so much. Short, mid, and deep. And one more. He got uh, three awards today. He gets some medium, some throw under pressure. Throw under pressure actually was a weak link for him on the ratings side. But I think it didn't play out that badly. I think he overplayed his ratings. And this one is great. A little bit of deep accuracy. Here plus three, that was kind of a little bit of a weak link for him. But uh, yeah, we're working on that. In the future, I'm gonna put a few upgrades into the strong arm as well because his arm could get a little stronger as well. But he had a stellar season and he's now at 89 overall without the morale boost. Plus four throw under pressure. He earned X Factor. Deservedly so with a 51 touchdown pass season. Still 23 years old, second year, first year starter. And his accuracies look incredible now. And his only weak link now might be play action. And I think I'm okay with that. If that's the only weak link here, and he still has his great athleticism. This dude is unbelievable. And this... This is it. That's going to do it for this episode. Next time, it's going to be the Super Bowl. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more Eagles franchise. See you in the next episode. Until then, spread some love.